In Tillamook folklore, the coming of the Thunderbird brought dark clouds, forks of lightning, and sheets of rain that sent fishers home empty-handed. Mm, but Thunderbirds making a return to Oregon this weekend, but this time they're bringing sonic booms. You have the dizzying heights, the flashing streaks of silver glimmering in the blue sky. It's all back for the Oregon International Air Show, and we have sent Cor Harlan to McMinnville to get the roundup on exactly that. Good morning, Cor. Good morning, Travis. Good morning, Emily. Happy Friday morning from the McMinnville Airport. The sun is coming up over the east. It is absolutely spectacular out here. It's going to be a great weekend for an air show. And I want to introduce you to Vicki Bensing from uh, California, who's originally from Oregon, I guess, right? You moved down there and came back, down there, gone back. Oh, I lived up here. I worked for Tektronics up in this area. Grew up uh, an appreciation of the air show at Hillsboro. Uh, right? Absolutely. Love the flying. <laughs> She's here because she's going to be flying this P-51 Mustang behind us here. Carl, I don't know if you can get off of us for a second and take a shot of that, uh, that plane, but that's a spectacular aircraft. And this is the Reno Air Races aircraft, you tell me a little bit about it, that you it, fly this. The what? history of this airplane is in flying the Reno Air Races. It, it raced from 1964 to 1972, and then again I brought it to Reno last year. So the it was the first time it flew since 1972 in Reno last year? Uh, well, it had flown. In the air show. Yeah. It, in the air it, race. In the air race, yes. Yeah. Yes. And why do you do that? I mean, you know, rub, there's, a, there's a NASCAR <laughs> saying that rubbing is racing, but if you're doing this, rubbing is yeah, not, you not you good. Wanna, you, you don't, don't want to bump bad. and rub in the air, no. no, no, no. <laughs> That's a bad thing. Why yeah. do you do that? I mean, it's crazy, um, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. Yeah, get to go out and play with the boys. <laughs> yeah. Wish I would have known more girls like you when I was in high school. Anyway. Um, Talk to me a little bit about the aircraft itself. Do you do what? Do you do acrobatic things here at the air show this weekend for this? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'll do aerobatics in it. Um, I'll demonstrate the capability of the airplane. You'll see it come overhead at uh, racing speeds. Hear the roar of the engine, and then I'll pull up into a great big looping figure, and uh, off we go. Yeah. What kind of engine is having it? It's got the uh, Rolls Royce. Well, it's a Packard built Merlin engine. The Rolls Royce. Horsepower is. Ooh, you know, uh, that's how it's on me to put something. you on. <laughs> yeah. 1,400 something is, yeah, it's like is 1650 huge. 1,650 cubic inches. It's a big engine. Look for Vicky out mm -hmm. here this weekend. It's going to be a neat, neat show. Of course, they have the, uh, the uh, U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds that will be here as well. They have Vicky's performance aircraft and uh, do all of that kind of cool stuff out there that is really spectacular. It's going to be a great time. Yeah. <laughs> Come on out to the yeah. air show. Yeah, it's just something else, something else. Saturday, Sunday, Monday here at uh, McMinnville International Airport. There's plenty of tickets still available. You come out here and, and check them all out because uh, it's one thing, as I say, Travis and Emma, to see them fly in the sky, but it's quite another thing to stand here toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, look at them on the ground, observe just kind of all the brilliant uh, work that's gone into these, mm -hmm. the engines, the, the body work, the, 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 uh, just something else to see. You, you really got to see it to believe it. I want to be as cool as her when I grow up. Right? I, how do I do that? That's so good. <laughs> She's so cool. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. It's a long road ahead. <laughs> right. Cor, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's such a cool event. And he, Cor, being a guy that likes to stay on the ground to it's admire true. those sorts of things. But perfect weekend for taking flight. And yeah. if it's not too hot for you to go outside, you, you know, look up. I do mm -hmm. know some planes don't have air conditioning. So some of those pilots and those private Oof. smaller planes like Cessnas uh, can get really toasty up there, even up high. So mm -hmm. we are expecting heat as we begin. The